Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, August 21st. Okay, so we have the moon still in this Pisces energy all day, helping us to emotionally navigate old storms to kind of bring a sense of acceptance of closure to some of the karmic chapters that, of course, have popped off. We have a different perspective of those now, especially since that full moon in Aquarius really helped to put things in a different type of perspective and through a different lens. Of course, we're still hypersensitive in this Pisces energy all up in the feels and definitely picking up on new intuitive insights. The moon is going to go void, of course, though, at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be busting into a brand new emotional cycle when the moon shifts into Aries energy at 7.02 p.m. Again, Eastern Standard Time. So the shift from Pisces energy to Aries energy is always felt because the Aries energy puts a little bit of a pep back in our step, brings the fire, the spark, the flame back that the Pisces energy kind of mushed out with all of the, let's call it tears, crying, just, you know, inverted type of imaginative type of fantasies. We're just all over the place. With that Pisces energy, we become a little bit more alive and focused in that Aries energy. And we have the desire to rip the rear view mirror off of the car. We don't want to look back. We only want to look forward. Of course, there's a little bit of intensity that comes with that Aries energy, Mars being the ruler, of course. We just have ants in our pants. We want to take action. We want to make moves on things that technically speaking aren't ripe for the picking yet as we currently wish they would be. Today is also the last day of Leo season, which is going to add an extra element of intensity onto things because of course, as the sun nears the final degrees, we are going to have a pop off. Little bit of a review, little bit of a flashback on what Leo season was all about. If you need to go ahead, take a listen to the Leo season astro forecast again for a little bit of a refresher reminder on what Leo season was all about. Definitely do that before we head into Virgo season. Virgo energy, of course, is going to be a major, major shift in mood and attitude and in focus. There's an astral forecast out there for your listening pleasure, as well as a Virgo season e-guide for your downloading pleasure to help you navigate the ups, the downs, the everything in between that Virgo season will bring. So with all of that being said, there are 10 different aspects taking place here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. The moon, while still very much in Pisces energy, is going to sit directly across from and oppose Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in the Virgo energy. Of course, Pisces energy, Virgo energy is the healing axis. Emotionally speaking, especially where recent relationship dysfunction and pop-offs are concerned, we have a lot to piece together. We have a lot to come to terms of acceptance about. We definitely have to balance the scales between our heart and head, again, pushing a different perspective, reframing situations, circumstances gone by in order for us to figure out what we need to do, what we have to do differently in order to feel safe and secure and stable, not only within our own selves, not only within our own emotions, but within the way that we feel about ourselves while being part of a relationship, a partnership, something bigger. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring, square off with Mars. Mars is the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in Gemini energy. Again, why we're on the fence, why we're torn, why suddenly we're all the way back in the past and then suddenly we're all the way in the future. We're having a hard time being present. Mars in that Gemini energy wants to take action, wants to make moves, but the action is in the mental plane, planning strategizing for futuristic moves. The moon getting into the boxing ring with Mars is going to highlight the power struggle. There is a growing pain going on. We are feeling a little bit restless, a little bit, let's call it angered, agitated. We have ants in our pants. We want to kind of break away from these heavier thoughts, these heavier emotions that of course, karmic cycles from the past is definitely putting on us at this time. We want to move on. We want to move forward. You're definitely going to feel that agitation kind of build in your communication style, in your mood and your attitude. This should kind of illuminate for you where it is that you're done beating that dead horse, where it is that you're done holding on to the past and where it is that you're anxiously awaiting 
for a break away where we can start making moves, making some progress in a new path, in a new direction. The moon in Pisces energy going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, who is retrograde in this Aries energy, helping us to focus on the problems, either in our mental plane, in our emotions, in our soul, in our spirit, and actually do something to fix them, to heal them, to resolve them. This is a good vibe, though. So we're starting to see ourselves again, this new version of self, in a more positive light. We're feeling a little bit more supported by the cosmos, by the universe. We are feeling the fog clear a little bit, slowly but surely, let's say, and we are definitely starting to see where it is that we've made major leaps in healing, especially from events from the past. The moon is then going to make a very tough interaction, though, with Mercury, who, of course, is still retrograde in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. This is because, again, we're kind of reflecting, reviewing matters of the heart, and that moon in Pisces just wants to bring this particular processing to an end. Our heart is on one page. Our head is on the other. We just want to meet in the middle so that we can get in alignment and start making some progress in a new path, in a new direction. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener, who is in Taurus energy. We love this because Pisces and Taurus energy work very well together. Whatever it is that we can dream up, whatever it is that we're being called in to do, called to pursue, we're able to actually bring it into form, bring it into reality through the Taurus energy. This is a positive interaction. Uranus is giving us a lot of insight, a lot of aha moments. We are being downloaded with new goals, new visions, new dreams, and a new mood new attitude to actually take a well-calculated risk and bust away, pivot from what it is that we had been doing. The sun in these final degrees of Leo energy going to make a very difficult interaction with Neptune, who of course is retrograde in his place of power in Pisces energy, also at the 29th critical karmic degree. Now, this is going to bring on a lot of confusing feelings. We aren't going to feel energetic. We aren't going to feel bold, brave, and courageous. We're going to create a lot of confusion for ourselves and kind of be a little bit uncomfortable in our own skin. Now, there is a lot of sensitivity going on emotionally, mentally speaking. We do have the ability to align with our higher selves, to our intuition, to grasp a little bit of a visual on what it is that we want to build, what it is that we want to create. But overall, this is a funk. It doesn't feel good. It's knocking the wind out of our sails. It is short lived, but it is definitely necessary in order for us to kind of reflect back on Leo season, what it was all about, what it was meant to teach us before we pivot and move into Virgo season. The moon in Pisces then going to come up to bump into team up with conjunct Neptune, who, of course, again, both of them at the final degrees of this Pisces energy. This is really sensitive energies. This is, again, a conjunction and ending just as much as it is a beginning. We are putting the past behind us. We are releasing and purging some of those heavier thoughts, heavier emotions from cycles gone by. And we are more open, again, very sensitive to receiving new intuitive intuitive insights, new gut reactions, new aha moments on where it is that we want to go from here. 5.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon goes void, of course. Things get shaky, things get uncertain, things get unstable. And while the moon is void, the moon is going to make a harsh interaction with the sun, of course, at the final degrees of this Leo energy. So anytime we have an interaction between the moon and the sun, there's going to be an aha moment a light bulb go off on what it is that we need, what it is we want, what it is we desire, and what it is that's standing in the way from us actually getting it. This is going to put into perspective again where it is that we're letting go, closing the door, providing closure, wrapping up loose ends so that we can pivot and start building towards something new. We have the moon shifting into this Aries energy at 7.02 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 20 minutes later, we have the moon in Aries sextiling beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde in Aquarius energy. 
This is the major shift in our mood, in our attitude. This is the fire, the spark, the flame being reignited once again. We have no desire to look back. We have no desire to think about what we just went through. We want to start actively initiating the steps, even if they're baby steps, to move on into a different path, into a different direction. Pluto definitely intensifies things. He shows us where we're bossing up, where we're taking control over our heart, our head, our circumstances, and where it is that we are about to, again, pivot and take our power back as creators in a major and very huge kind of way. We'll see that kind of unfold as we move into Virgo season. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon making a very positive interaction with Mercury. Our heart and our head, they're getting back on the same page. Mercury, of course, still retrograde in Leo energy, getting to the heart of the matter, reframing matters of the heart, especially looking back at painful experiences that are now coming to an end. The moon is our emotions. Mercury is our headspace. We have our emotions fired up, ready to go, ready to not look back and only look forward. While Mercury, of course, is still looking back, but only because we're realizing what it is that no longer makes us happy, what it is that we're no longer connected to, and what it is that we want to pursue, what we want to build, what we want to create from here.